Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this army showcase video. We have a very insidious Black Legion army for you guys to see that we've just completed. Uh, some really cool characters and also loads of great units as well. Now if you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then here at Siege we are a UK based premium commission miniature painting studio uh, with 28 painters that all paint from a minimum standard of an above tabletop level all the way up to competition entry quality. Uh, and that's a bit about what we do here as a company. If you are interested in a quote, be it for a character or an army phase like this one, then very simply what we need to do is follow the link in the description of this video to our website's contact form. Once you're there, select the relevant drop down options from that contact form for your project. And also in the message section, include a list of models in our format, which is also shown on that contact form uh, and fire that off to us to get the process started. We're back in a second to have a look at this awesome force in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So first up, guys, as always, let's have a look at the characters from this Black Legion phase. Uh, I know Amy had a grand time working on these three characters and the two lackeys that do come with the Dark Apostle as well. Uh, so we've got, obviously, a Lord Executioner, uh, the Dark Apostle and these two lackeys, and then we have the Lord Discordant as well, which is a really, really cool model. Uh, so let's start by having a look at the Lord Executioner. Again, a really cool character, um, really awesome amounts of detail in all the bones and things and sort of that he's got all over him, which is really nice. You've got those heads there that he's carrying as well, which is really cool. I like the fact that he's obviously got this cape that's all sewn together as well. I think that little details are really nice. Um, lots of bone work done throughout and a little trophy rack there. Uh, slightly sad about the Blood Angel helmet, but I'll, uh, I'll let that slide on this occasion. <laughs> um, and then we've got obviously the great big axe there you can see with all the chipping done on it as well. Really, really cool overall finish on this model as well with all the little extra details, so little sort of scuffs and nicks on that leather sort of um, uh, sort of cape that he's got as well, which is really cool. Uh, his holstered pistol on his backpack with a nice wooden handle or bone handle there. You can see with all the grains of bone added onto it, which is really nice. Uh, but everything fully highlighted and picked out and you've got all the facial details there, his eyes and everything all fully done, which is really, really nice. Uh, so that's just the Lord Executioner. Uh, really cool model. Um, then we'll have a look at the two lackeys that come with the Dark Apostle. Again, this dude here swinging that sort of brassiere as well. Um, probably quite a cool weapon as well, <laughs> with the flames tailing off from behind it, as you can see, all the scrolls and pouches and leather work all done nicely uh, with the, the, the sort of cape and shawl that he's got all highlighted there as well, with a nice red inner and black outer, which is really you know, lovely. Um, all the little intricate details, like for example, he's got a bionic eye with that lens all picked out there as well, which is really, really nice. Uh, and the, the subtle burning skull brassiere that he's got there in the center of that eight pointed ring uh, and his little eight pointed star icon as well, just hanging from his waist. Every little detail fully picked out and highlighted to a lovely finish here. Um, this is just a bronze above tabletop quality for this dude. Um, I'll pull forward the other guy as well here. So you can see, obviously, really, really cool. Um, the face uh, mask also almost reminds me a little bit of kind of like Silent Hill a little bit. Um, but you've got all the lovely chains that he's sort of grasping that book to his back, uh, which is really cool. And again, same inner red uh, on the on this sort of shawl that he's wearing on the black outer. Uh, and you've got this lovely sort of, uh, sort of lectern there that he's carrying there for the flaming book that the Dark Apostle has got with the candles. Really, really cool model, uh, really unique and a uh, lovely, lovely sculpt to go with the awesome Dark Apostle that we're going to have a look at next. Uh, he's a great model from the get-go. I'm a massive, massive fan of this model. I think uh, Amy's done a stellar job just on all the little details on him, the brassiers, the flames, uh, the white eyes that he's got where he's glazed over, which is quite cool. Uh, the flaming book and the dripping sort of uh, magma sort of blood kind of thing that's coming from the book is really cool as well. Uh, and then we're moving around so you can see around the back you've got this lovely, subtle, dark sort of maroon brown kind of cape on him as well which is really nice just adds that extra sort of dark crimson kind of look to the back of the book and also the cape which is really nice uh, but subtle amounts of detail work and scuffs and nicks down there as well really subtle little details on there which is lovely uh do like all the sort of uh, i won't say purity seals but the sort of heretic seals that are hanging from his backpack uh, and you've got all the flames and everything that are done on there as well which is really really nice so that's just the uh, dark apostle but an overall lovely finish there for a silver level character which is our minimum standard character. 
Uh, and then we'll pull forward uh, Lord Discordant, which is a really, really cool model. Uh, again, just overall awesome job that Amy's done here. You've got that lovely maroon kind of dark brown sort of shawl that he's wearing as well. Nice parity between all three of the HQ models for this part of the, of, uh, of the army that we've done, uh, which is lovely. And you've got obviously the beastie that he's riding there with all those lovely details, all sort of picked out the power cables there with Chevron's uh, detail work. You've got the pustules and everything all dripping from the sort of more bi um, biological part of the machine. Lovely how biomechanical it is i think it's a really really cool word steed that he's what he's riding which is awesome uh, so that's just him and you've obviously got loads of little scuffs and things all done on the uh, on the cape that he's got here as well which is really cool one of the little details that i really like is this uh, sort of pointed arrow bit that's on this chain weapon here and i like the fact that amy's done a bit of a blend on it as well which is really really nice uh, but again every aspect of detail fully picked out really really lovely finish on these models uh, and again a really great example of a silver level character here which is our minimum standard for a character here at Siege. Uh, so that's just all the HQs and uh, lackeys that come with this part of the force. Uh, up next we're going to have a look at all the infantry, uh, so the, the heretic marines and also the Havocs they are coming up next. Uh, so stick around, we're back in a second. So next up let's have a look at all the infantry from this awesome Black Legion phase. Uh, some really, really cool models. You've got two squads of Havocs at the back, the new ones, and then we have a lovely squad of the new uh, Chaos Space Marines at the front. We'll start by looking at the uh, Chaos Space Marines first, I think, uh, and here is one of the plasma-wielding heretics. Uh, a really, really lovely complementary orange plasma glow that Amy's done on these as well, uh, but as you can see there, for our bronze level, you've got a really, really nice, super clean, finished job on these. All the lenses, details, everything fully picked out, highlighted, as you can see, uh, but a really, really nice standard on these Black Legion. Uh, so that's just a plasma dude. I'll pull forward a few of the squad. Won't have a look at every single one of them because they are obviously very much the same in the sense of the details and bits and bobs. Uh, but I do like the belt feed on this guy. I think it's quite cool. I uh, wonder what he's going to do when he runs out of ammo, but yeah. <laughs> so that's him. Uh, we also have the uh, champion from the unit here, as you can see. Again, that lovely orange plasma glow. Nice little glow there in the end of the barrel as well. All the lenses on the helmet and also on the gun and all done, everything, which is really nice. Uh, got a little bit of weather in there on the axe and the power axe moving around. You can see all the edges and everything fully highlighted and picked out. So that's the champion. Uh, pull forward the missile launcher from the squad. Again, really cool pose there. I like the fact he's got the knife and the missile launcher so he can go close and personal or he can shoot you and blow you away with the uh, missile launcher. Lovely chevron pipe there on the missile launcher as well. But again, you can see all the little bits of details all fully painted and picked out. Nothing's been left. Uh, we don't sort of expense anything. If everything is done to a very, very super clean standard. Uh, as you can see here, love all the missiles just dangling there off his backpack as well, which is really cool. Uh, and again, the backpack's quite cool. I like these sort of braziers here, which are really nice as well. Uh, it's just a little bit different. I do like all the little extra details that these new Black Legion Marines, or Chaos Marines, should I say, have, which is really cool. But the lenses and everything there, as you can see, all done on the missile launcher and also on the helmet. And then we'll pull forward one more. Let's have a look at the dude with the icon, because uh, he's got a lovely sort of icon on his back as well. So that's just him. As you can see, it's moving around, so you can see all the areas of everything fully painted there. Uh, cool little spikes on his shoulder guard as well, which is really nice. So that's just him. And then we'll pull forward some of the devastating Havocs at the back. This is one of the missile launchers here, as you can see, with those missiles all fully painted there. Uh, lovely little red tip on the wall heads of those as well. Uh, these have all got the uh, gold Black Legion transfers on them as well, which is really nice. Uh, so that's just one of the uh, Havocs. And again, a lot bigger, which is really, really cool uh, on the, these bigger 40 mil bases as well, which is really nice. So that's just him. Uh, pull forward the champion of the first squad here. Again, all those facial details fully painted, the teeth, eyes and everything painted as well. Again, again you've got that matching orange plasma glow on him. And again, really, really cool models here, as you can see. Uh, again, do like the uh, backpacks on these guys as well, which is really, really nice. So that's just the champion. Let's pull forward uh, one of the Laz Cannons, just so you can see one of the Laz Cannons. But again here, really cool. I like the fact that they're in the old style where they're shoulder mounted. I think it's just really, really cool. Uh, so that's just him. You've got the eyes and things on the armor all painted there, as you can see. Uh, which is really nice. I do like the gold trim on all of these with a nice subtle silver edge on them as well, which is really nice. So Amy's done a stellar job just with those. 
uh, we'll pull forward this awesome, awesome gun. I remember when I first saw the first image of this, it was just ridiculous, uh, but really, really cool weapon. Loads of ammo there, as you can see from that, uh, those two hoppers on his backpack. Uh, and again, you've got all the areas of detail fully painted on this dude as well. So that's just him. Same again on the other squad. I will pull forward the champion just so you can have a look at him because he's got a helmet, but you can see obviously all the uh, lenses done on the helmet of him as well. Uh, really, really cool. So that's just the other champion here. And I'm just showing him just so you can see the consistency from one unit to the next. Um, pull forward one or two of these just so that you can see them. Again, same attention to detail on all of these models. Again, really, really, really cool details on these that have all been painted to a lovely, lovely bronze standard, which is our above tabletop level. So that's all the infantry from this awesome phase of Black Legion. Up next, we have all the Terminators. They're coming to get you. Stick around. We're back in a sec. And lastly, we have the Terminators, the elites, the heavy hitters from this Black Legion army phase, uh, which Amy's had the pleasure of working on. Really, really cool models. I do love the new Chaos Terminator kit. Uh, has loads of great aspects of detail throughout them. And they did need a bit of an update, if I'm honest with you. So the, these new models do not disappoint. They really, really are great. Uh, so let's dive in, have a look. Uh, really, from the get-go, you can see how much grander and bigger these guys really are. But again, you can see every aspect of detail has been fully picked out. The bone work on all the horns, and everything has been done to a lovely finish. You've got the little power glow there on the maul as well, which is lovely. Uh, all the lenses, like on the side of the bolters, have been painted. The eyes on the different aspects of the armour have done, been done really nicely. You've got some lovely dead ultramarine uh, heads on some of the trophy racks and, unfortunately, some Blood Angel ones as you look round. Uh, so that's, uh, that's the first of these Terminators here, as you can see. But even the lenses and everything done with a little point of light source and a little blend on them as well, which is really nice. And, again, these are painted to our bronze above tabletop minimum standard. Uh, this is the second one from the squad you can see that subtle edging throughout on the armor as well which is really nice i love the complementary maroon and and sort of loincloths i think they're really really cool uh, again this guy is just bounding forward here ready to strike someone with his power fist blood angel helmet there on the trophy rack uh, and again as you can see every aspect of detail fully painted on these as well and i'll run through the unit just so you can see them in a bit of a nutshell just so you can see the consistency from model to model but a really lovely finish on all of these terminators uh, so this is just another regular dude with a power glove or power fist and also Combi Bolter. Um, and pull forward the unit champion that I've designated there with the with the combi plasma, but all the flesh work and eyes and everything done there, as you can see, to a lovely finish. Uh, I do love these new claws. I think they look really, really evil, which is lovely. Uh, and moving around here, as you can see, just on him, every aspect of detail fully painted. A nice gaunt, morbid guardsman there as well, uh, just on the trophy rack. So that's just that one. And then the final one from that that five um, of Terminators is this other dude just bounding forward here, as you can see. Again, really, really lovely, lovely standard on these uh, bronze level Terminators. Uh, so that's just him and then second squad same again just so you can see the consistency from unit to unit I do love all the fur on this dude as well and also the retro kind of melter uh, there as you can see which is really nice so that's just him um, pull forward another one so you can have a look at this chap again I do like his open armed pose he looks like he's advancing be give to someone a really bad day so that's just him move him around and they've all got the Black Legion transfers on them as you can see there as well which is lovely uh, again so that's just another one of the Terminators one at the back with the axe. Again, more fur on him. Big flamer as well, which is really cool. I like the retro flamer on it as well. Just really, really lovely, uh, lovely work that Amy's done on these. Uh, so that's just another chap here, which is really cool. Uh, the champion from that unit as well. Again, same again with the power swords, uh, which is some nicks and scratches on it as well. Lovely red pommel on it as well, which is a really cool extra little detail. And you've got that lovely loincloth there. And the plasma glow as well, matching the rest of the plasma through this force and on all the other phases that we've done for this client. Uh, you've got the plasma on there as well and that lovely complimentary orange which is really cool and then the final chap moving forward bounding forward there as you can see in a really cool fashion is just this other terminator lovely lovely model all the edges and everything fully picked out and fully highlighted there as you can see with these uh, extra little details all painted to a lovely finish for our bronze level which is an above tabletop our minimum standard for painting here at siege uh, so that's uh, the terminators guys i do hope you like them a really cool addition to your force if you're looking to start collecting chaos or add to your chaos army and uh, i do hope you can stick around to the end of the video we're going to see the army and this phase all again in its glory see you guys back in a second
So there we have it guys, this incredibly insidious and heretical Black Legion army which Amy had the pleasure of working on and as mentioned this is an additional phase to some other Black Legion projects which you can also see on our YouTube channel. Uh, so if you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege Studios then very simply all you need to do is follow the link in the description of this video to our website's contact form. Once you're there select the relevant drop down options on that contact form for your project and also in the message section include a list of models in our model list format which is also shown on that contact form as well. Fire that off to us to get the process started and we'll come back to you very, very shortly. Uh, so thank you ever so much for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it. All the links to our social media can also be found in the description of this video, so Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Go give us a like and follow on those respectively as we post loads of content and loads of different things that we're doing as a company on all of those platforms. And while you're here on YouTube, finally, drop us a subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the things that we do content-wise and showcase videos. And uh, if you do hit the bell icon, you will be notified when new videos go up. And uh, let us know in the comments, what's your favourite Black Legion or Chaos character and why? We'd love to know. So drop us some, drop us some comments below and we'll, uh, we'll come back to you and have a nice chat. See you guys on the next one and thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it really, guys. So thank you very much and we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.